So in this video, we want to understand what we're being asked to do if we're asked to put a radical into simplified radical form. So just thinking about the radical symbol and what it's asking us to do in a case that we're accustomed to. So say the square root of 36. What we're asked to do when we see a radical is to find the non-negative number such that when we multiply it by itself, it yields the number under the radical sign. So for example, the square root of 36, we could rewrite this and uh, we could rewrite this recognizing that 36 is actually a perfect square. There, we, there is a positive number such that when we square it, we get 36. And that's going to mean that the simplification of the square root of 36 is 6, the positive or non-negative real number such that when we multiply it by itself it yields the number under the, the radical sign. Notice that negative 6 times negative 6 would also equal 36, but by definition when we take the square root of a number we are looking for the positive square root, the positive root. So that just as a quick review, step over to something like the square root of 72. So the issue with 72 is that 72 isn't a perfect square in the sense that there is a whole number that can be squared to give us 72. But what we can recognize is that 72 can be re rewritten as the product 36 times 2 because 36 times 2 is 72. And one of these two factors in the product, the 36, is in fact a perfect square. So 36 is the same as 6 squared and we're being multiplied by a 2. So when we are putting a number like the square root of 72 into simplified radical form, we're simply saying look at the number you're working with, see if there's any perfect squares in it, and if there are, simplify them out of the radical sign. So in this case the square root of 6 squared or the square root of 36 is 6. I can simplify the part that is the perfect square and the square root of 2? Well, 2 isn't a perfect square, so we just leave the part that isn't a perfect square under the radical sign. This is the process of putting a radical into simplified radical form.